Hello everyone, this is day 27 and I with Missy hit her, hit her pose so I thought I'd let her open the show today and uh, that's it, she's now done <laughs> heading towards the door. Okay, so I'll let her uh, out. Okay, so I am coming to you from the studio which has an echo. I apologize. I will try to speak clearly, but we accidentally put the dishwasher on in the kitchen before viewing, so um, it wasn't a good place for me to record from. Okay, let's start with the theme today. Set your compass. Imagine what if. So, um, if you find that you need more energy. Your compass is set on building energy and vitality and storing it so you have it when you need it. Okay, that's one idea. Uh, you get up in the morning and your ankles are stiff, your hands are stiff, uh, your elbows are sore from sleeping on them. That's what you tell yourself. Set your compass. Free flow through all the joints. That's your goal. So as we go through some of the motions, I want you to think about how you can change your compass. So you don't just practice Tai Chi, you know your goal, you know where you want to be, and you're striving for your goal every single day. You can practice, but you can make it better than just practice. So I'd like to share that with you. Okay. Hello Charlotte, happy Easter, thanks for being here, and I know someone else is on, but I can't see who, <laughs> so welcome, welcome, I'm glad you're here. Okay, well, other people find us today, let's set our compass. So my compass is a shoulder that is still causing me some grief, especially when I'm sleeping. I know it's because of my computer and the amount of time I'm spending on it. So my compass today is to open up the flow and balance down the shoulders and the neck. And as I'm doing that, making sure everything is flowing. So my goal is balance and flow. All right, thanks for the thumbs up. I saw it, I think that was David. Okay, so let's start with part three of the Tai Chi set. And this is a great place to put free flow. We've got some fantastic moves in there for that. So if you have set your goal, I'm just gonna slide myself backwards. I can slide like the kitchen. Okay, there we go, that's it. Okay, and I've left my sweater on because it's a little cooler in here today. So hopefully you're all right. Let's do the bow, gratitude. As Soon as you bring gratitude in, you increase possibility. Nice big breath. Just the big breath makes a shift in the body. Crossing the hands, you're going to carry the tiger to the mountain. So this is letting go of those um, emotions that have got you where you are. <laughs> so you might be holding on to a grudge, uh, some grief, some disbelief. Push it out comes around for whip to one side as you pull the thread from the golden hill and you focus your attention. And then we have parting the horse's mane. So this is taking your emotions that may have run wild or didn't get resolved. And what we're going to do with this is this move is allowing us to let those emotions go and to focus on where we set our compass. I just got here. You might have to go back <laughs> to your my skill, but I'll, I'll include you in a minute here. Left Grassford's tail. Into Grassford's tail. So this is calming the emotion, letting it go. Refocusing. And 
and lining everything up. We're going to come around. Again, you're pulling through the golden pill and focusing your attention. Fair Lady Shuttle. Left hand is in the front, reach out left. Back to the right hip, to the left. What are you doing? You're looking at all the different aspects of your challenge. Comes back, left hand's in the front, goes out. Maybe there's a few things you didn't look at. I know that my computer causes me a challenge, maybe I should change my seat. <laughs> okay. Um, Left Gaspard's tail into Gaspard's tail. Maybe I shouldn't spend as much time at it. Maybe I should think away from it and then only come to it when I need to. Maybe I shouldn't cruise through all the Facebook postings. Look to one side. Comes around. Maybe I should sit up straighter. Move hands like clouds. This is where you can change how things are going. This is where you can clear off the old habits and patterns. This is where you create new possibility. This is where you clear the field, energy around the body. If it's not flowing nice and clear and open, and is not touched, that's when it goes into the body to manifest. That's when you come around with. So you clear the field, you bring that one little stroke out, possibilities. Okay, so now this is going to be a snake. So this is going, the snake goes down into the water and sheds his skin. That's old patterns. Standing on right and left, word of monkey. Word of monkey is letting go of old thought patterns that keep going through your head. If I'd only done it that way, it's my fault. If I'd only said I should do it that way because it's always been that way. Okay, so it's just going to come around. up to raise hands. New focus. Moving forward. White stork spreads wings. You have your intuition, your guidance, the things that you know are possible. That's me. So what you decide, the king of the sea bottom, is you have gifts that are very special and to this particular challenge, you can focus on what you know is right and will work the best. So in my case, getting up in the morning, finding out the pattern that I need, making sure I balance everything. I'm going to come around, grasp its tail. So I'm balancing everything. that I know I have done all that I can to keep everything balanced and that shoulder from needing to hurt so much or be stuck. Move hands like clouds. Now we have three. So again, you've cleared off a lot of stuff that was keeping you where you were. And now you're opening up new possibilities. You pull that golden thread you can clearly see a new way of doing things. High cut on horse. So now what you're doing is you say, I've got control of those emotions. I'm no longer needing to just react, turn. I can focus to where I want to go with my compass. Bring it out. This is going to come through. Grassford's tail. You release the emotion again. You clear it. Okay. 
Hold that golden thread even more refined. Here goes your snake. You go through the water and you come up to seven stars, which is following the course you laid and being on that course. Comes around. Thank you for the hearts. Comes around. That one is to sweep the lotus. That means you pick up your full capabilities, you balance it in your life, and now you're following your course of your compass. Comes back. Two hands. Here to close the entrance. Sink. This is going to lift up, separate, expand, and finish. Okay. Gerda Geddes from the UK, she's the first woman to take Tai Chi to the UK, wrote a fantastic book about um, uh, the Golden Needle, which is taking the energy and vitality of the Dantian, finding out your talent, and targeting your focus. And the movements in Tai Chi are all named for their value. Unfortunately, it had been translated from Chinese to English, so some things get lost in translation, but the essence is there. So if you set your compass today with a goal in mind, you want to have freer fingers, you want your neck to be able to easily rotate, you want your shoulders to move evenly and flow, um, the pain in your knee to be lessened, whatever. Set your compass and then start your Tai Chi. Know what you want. Okay, so I see Yvonne has joined in, and I'm guessing Doug's probably there too. Um, maybe some of the other families here before our Easter dinner. Um, okay, that gives us a start to get the flow happening. After class yesterday, I had a different class that I was engaged in, and that was exploring what happens to the body when you deep breathe and you center and ground? That means come into yourself and let the energy flow from head to toe. And we were measuring energy yesterday. And what happened was in just a few short seconds, you can change your energy from being very low to very high and sustained in only a few moves. It was amazing. I didn't realize how much, and I do this all the time. So I just want you to think about that. If you set your compass, where can you put yourself in just a few short exercises? Okay. So yesterday, we explored a ward off monkey, and we were standing right and left. And we explored the movement through the back and the power that comes through the core. So let's leave that and let's focus on step up to raise hands into white stork spreads wings. And that's going to be into push needle to C button. So let's do that little sequence. And again, this is about setting the compass. So my goal was to even out the flow in my shoulders and my neck so that my shoulder is not gripping and holding so tight. Okay, you have your goals, whatever yours is. So I'm going to stay seated for a moment, then I'll stand. Step up to raise hands. So this is going to be here. Into white stork. Falls forward. Up to the top. Separate each vertebra. Put space in there. Drop towards the tailbone. And that gives us a nice spiral action to move the tendons along the spine. That's going to come back. Right hand goes to the floor, pushing down. This is coming back. And then push out. This is into fan penetrates back. So the hand is going to come up to the top comes around, and this is where the snake puts out his tongue. 
you've got your target right there. Wipe the sleeve or the flowers. The flex carry and the brush. Okay, so that little sequence can allow us to shift our focus. So let's look at all the baggage that goes with us that keeps us from getting the compass and getting our goals, okay? Right now as we do this one, let the baggage run through your head and let it fall away. Let it fall away. Okay, so step up to raise hands. Lift. Separate the vertebra in the back. Everything is long. Falling forward. Push into the feet. Separate each vertebra. Lengthen, dropping the spine down towards the tailbone at the end. Spiral. Changes the dynamics of those tendons. Brush knee. Sinking back. Hand goes down. Push the needle to see bottom. Okay, now here the palms come together. You're focused. You know what your goal is. You set your target. Then penetrates back all the gifts you have for achieving your goals are right there. Hold the flowers, lift, clean out, wipe the sleeve. Okay, so that was getting rid of the baggage, letting it all slough off and disappear. Okay, so now you're standing there. No rules. Good. No thought patterns that are holding you in the pattern you've had. You have not really got to your compass yet. You're just trying to figure out where do I go? How do I change this? Thank you. I saw that heart. Okay, so let's go through this again and let's just look around. What are the possibilities? Okay, so you're here. Step up to raise hands. What are the possibilities? You can look forward, up to the top, you can look to the left, you can look to the right, you can look forward again. Go back, you're going to push the needle to C bottom. That is, you're finding out exactly what your gift is. You're making it bigger right here, holding it and expanding it. And then you take that gift and you're going to share it far and wide, bigger than you ever imagined. And out. Wipe the sleeve, clears off anything that's left over, anything you might have missed you didn't know about. And out, equal and opposite. And then let it come forward. Okay, so now we have the old baggage. We cleared it off. We have our new perspective, but we don't know where to look. So we looked all the way around. What are the possibilities except behind us? We don't care where we came from. We want to go forward. So we got rid of all that. That's now gone. So now, here's where the compass is. You want to have your hands working better. You want to have your ankles more supple. You don't want to have the tension or tightness in your knees anymore. Whatever it is, that is gone. What will you be doing differently because you set the compass in a new position? So as an example, my neck, my shoulders, middle of the night, rolling over, stiff, sore, pain, um, can't straighten my arm. I'm thinking all the things that have happened that keep waking me up. My goal is I have to sleep through the night. I wake up when I want to wake up, not because my shoulder told me it's time to get up. Um, when I move, everything is even. There's no pain anywhere when I go to move. Okay, that's my compass. All right, so whatever your compass is, let's do it again. Set your goal. We have step up to raise hands. Let the back open, expand.
expand. Lift. And then we are down into the feet. Grounded. We open the spine. We lengthen up the top. Spine rotates. Comes all the way around. And now you've seen all the possibilities. You know exactly where you're going to go. You know exactly that all your actions are now going to line up with your goal. And if you haven't been taking action towards your goal, you're now ready. So every action is about that goal. Your gifts, you're going to share with everyone else because you're not going to keep the secret. Wipe your sleeve, hold the flowers. You know that when you share with others, they benefit. And that compassion for everyone else is important. So, we went from our initial thoughts, getting rid of the baggage. We went to looking around, what are the possibilities? What haven't we noticed? What do we need to see? Two, I have my compass set. I know how I'm going to get there. So, one more time with this movement. This one is just enjoy it. And I'll only say the words so that you know where I am in case you're <laughs> facing a different direction while you're doing it. Step up to raise hands. Into white stark spreads wings. Into push needle to sea bottom. Into fan penetrates back. Into snake puts out tongue. Into deflect, carry, and punch. Okay, I hope you're noticing the difference from when you started to where you are now. That was running through that little pattern four times. Shifting your focus each time, leading you to your compass or your goal. So, if I move my shoulders now, you can pretty much go through a full range of motion. I can, I can actually turn my head much further around than I could before. And I noticed that my spine just rolls with it. If it was your hands, how do they feel compared to before? If it's your ankles, what do you notice in your ankles? If it's, um, if it's your back, maybe just sitting there, what can you notice? And just feel that. Okay, let's go back a little bit and let's talk about when you change your compass, you know what your goal is. How can you change the emotions that have been holding you in the old pattern? And that we've talked about is coming through the spine and the tendon to muscle relationship, releasing emotion. Okay? So let's take a movement from loka where uh, we go, um, we do the brow, brush knee, do the brow, brush knee. Just that little, just that little section, because I want to show you here what you can do. So the brow would be third eye. Third eye uh, chakra is the sixth chakra. That is where intuition is, and that's where new ideas are formed don't know how to get to a new pattern, that's a good place. I'm going to turn just a little bit, so hopefully that helps. So when I put my hand out, and I'm going to put it close to my head, I'm going to put it out. So if I was to go out, I wipe, that's clearing off, and then brush me, new possibility. Hold the ball. Building that energy. 
in the intuition, clear off anything that doesn't help you, and you focus. You see how you can play with it. Okay, so I hope I got all my angles right. Uh, remember that when I'm seated, my goal is from my tailbone to the top of my head, one long line. So here's the long line without my head trying to tilt back or dropping forward. I want it lined up so it's nice and straight. So I hope I'm achieving that. Sometimes it's hard to tell on the film. Okay, so let's do it again. So you have your compass set. Whatever emotions were holding you in the pattern, they were important for your survival. They're not important anymore because now you know you can handle it. You have a new goal. So we're going to get the new idea, let go of the old, move us to the new idea. So here is go of the old idea. Yesterday I talked about the layers of movement. If you're watching me and you've never done these movements before, you'll be structurally looking at everything. What did I do, right? If you're looking at the layers, let's talk about a few of the layers that are there. Let's talk about the spiral because we're going through the spine and all the emotions I talked about before, that was two weeks ago, I think, each vertebra has a different emotion that it's reflected with and it affects muscles and it affects organ systems. So we want to spiral our spine and let that go. If there's a tight spot, let it go. And so for me, the base of the neck right here is where it's going to be tightest. And that would be for people who keep holding up the world with their shoulders, holding the weight of the world, or not able to look around to see possibilities because they're focused only on exactly what has to happen. So we are going to let that go and we build in that spiral. I chose this action because it's a small spiral. You don't have to go very far. Okay, so here it goes. And seated, you're just going straight forward and back. Uh, standing, you'd be turning a little bit. Okay, so goes to the brow. And as your hand goes out, there's a slight spiral to the left. As you come back, there's a slight spiral to the right. And as you go down, it comes back to the center, lines up, separate all the vertebra. Hold the ball, puts you a little bit to the left. And then to the brow, goes out. Wipe the sleeve, goes a little bit back to the left. And come back out. Okay. Now. If you have, like the one side you're pulling on the right, and the other side you pull a little on the left, take a deep breath in and use your oxygen, use the deep breath to channel all that energy down to your feet and open everything up. Okay, so here it goes. Nice deep breath in. And let's go. Notice the possibilities, space in between each joint. Gather and hold that energy. Let that energy go and sink into it. Okay, so now you may be feeling there's a difference in the spine and the difference in the way that's all functioning. I hope that's what you're feeling. Okay, so I've stayed seated to do all of that, but I would like to stand. So those people who need to stay seated, please do. I'm going to do low cup from the beginning up to uh, where we've practiced so far. And again, when we're doing low cup, the intention is it is to move the water from the left to the right to create flow. It's what we're looking for with our compass and excuse me, and our goal, so making sure that that's going where we want it. And the second part is, as we move through each position and we spiral, they're little tiny movements, 
We're letting go of the emotion blocked along the spine. And then we're engaging lower dantian and building energy. So all those pieces towards our goal. Okay? So pull this up. All right. And hopefully you can see okay. It might be a little bit challenging, so I'm going to do this. Okay. So um, I'm just going to give you more of my head than the floor. That helps a little bit. Okay, so this is loka. So I'm going to start palms up. And then your tailbone is going to sink back and you let length come into the spine. Drop the hands and push up through the top of the head, lengthen the spine. Let the hips release. And open. When you release the hips, you can release shoulders, just in case you're working on the same challenge that I've got. There's our little spiral. Sink. Open the spine. The right hand is going to come up. Line up the head the same as the arm. Turning the palm to the right. Sink. Rise. Sink back on the right. Right Sink and wait. Step, and this is going to go to the brow. Sink. Brush knee. Hold the ball. See where that pattern sits? Now, you're going to wipe off that left palm, line it out. One palm's up, one palm's down. Feet go together. Ah. Out the top of the head. Separate the spine. Sink. Push out from the center. And let that little rotation bring you back to the front. Right palm is up. Sink. Both hands are up. Sink. I'm going to walk through the feet. Lift. Step, step. Push. Sinking back. We're going to turn. Roll the hands so the palm is up. Sit. Step with the left. Reach out. Step. Takwa. Parallel, up, looking sideways, you go over the top, contract, spiral and let everything open, sink back, and reach out. Hold the ball to the brow with the right foot. Hold the ball to the brow with the left foot. Open the hands, big circle, put your right foot out, right hand out, and just stop there for a moment. Just try to come back, hopefully you can see okay. Right hand is going to come back. Turn. The palm is going to go all the way around. This goes push. This goes up. Turn all the way around to the back this time, opening up that foot, push. Open the hands, hold the ball, reach out, reach out. So this goes, wipe the table, wipe the table, and the right hand comes up. So you can drop the tailbone. This is going to have a little bit of a rise. Drop the tailbone, hold the ball, and then step with the left, reach out. Hold the ball, step, reach out. Hold the ball, reach out. This is Green Dragon. So, left hand goes down, right claw goes up, plant your foot, 
in fact. Turn to the back, cross your hands, separate the hands. For this we did a couple days ago. I'm on the carpet, so I'm not going to slide very far. Roll the hands, roll the foot, spiral and open up all the way through the joints. Step, this pushes through, sink back, hand comes up, turn to the palm going out, walk through your feet, push out. Hold the ball back towards the front, goes to your brow. Then you're going to push the left hand back, right hand is going to go over, left right, and then hold the flowers up to the left, I'm just going to back up again. Step, you're going to push into the right corner, hold the flowers, Push into the left. And let's just finish this last part. Walk through your feet. Push two hands out. Then you're going to sink back to the right. Over to the left. Hold. And reach. Okay. That's a fair bit to practice. <laughs> Okay, there's a lot of pieces in there, but I'm hoping what you could feel was the flow back and forth and the space between the spine, so the drops and the rises, where you, you're, just, you're just telling the spine you're safe, it's okay to let go, you can be relaxed. Let the tension go in those tendons holding into the spine, and you can let that emotion ebb away. That's what I was hoping you could do. Okay, to finish off for today, let's take the last little move. We just came around and we just did this beautiful flow and the left hand came up. You're actually facing to the right. And then we go backwards. And this is similar to what we were working on yesterday, but slightly different. Left hand pushes down, tailbone goes to the back, and the right hand is gonna reach out. Get patois. See if you can reach. Step patois, see if you can reach. Step patois, see if you can reach. And this we practiced several weeks ago. Roll the fingertips to make the fan. This is like parting horse's mane, which we did in the Tai Chi set. But this one we're letting the fingers roll like a fan. And reach. That's as far as we'll go. Okay, let's do it one more time because we need to talk about our compass. Where is your goal? What is your final ambition that you set for your whole day today? So we have just reached out to the left. We're going to go backwards. So we can go backwards in time. Look at how we got to our pattern. Open the spine. Step. Open the spine. We know that the patterns were there to support us and help us, but they no longer serve us. So hold the ball. That's where we were creating new energy. Roll the fingers. This is releasing the spine. So any little residual pattern that's left in regards to your compass, is now going to let go. Let that come through the spine, then come through the spine. Yeah. Okay, so we've got that last little piece. Now, if you feel that you still haven't quite released it, you can run it one more time. And you could put your fingertips on your forehead really lightly. That's emotional stress release, that can let the last go. But in terms of Tai Chi, you can use that if you still need it. In terms of Tai Chi, let's just do this pattern one more time. Because now when we look backwards, we see the possibilities that are before us. We see all the options that are available. And we can set our compass. And once our compass is set, our goals are easily obtained 
We know exactly where we're going. Okay, there you have it. So let me come and see. I've got Susan on there. Hello from Edmonton. And Sabra from down the road a little ways. And Robin in New York. That's awesome. I've got uh, Charlotte in Ontario, Yvonne in BC, uh, Dougalby in BC. That's, that's awesome. Look at how, how many places we're covering. So last little piece. When we set up Tai Chi Wellness and the Seed of Form series, we wanted to have a conversation about Tai Chi with people. And once a month, we were meeting on Zoom to do that. And our next meeting is scheduled for Wednesday. So if you would like to be a part of that conversation, you can mark it in today's um, piece here. You can just say, count me in. I think I have everybody's emails. And uh, then I'll be able to send you out a Zoom. If you wish to send me an email, just put Tai Chi Wellness Zoom, and I'll know to make sure that you get that connection. And then we will be meeting on Wednesday. And uh, the time, I believe, is noon. Noon, our time here, which would be 8 o'clock Pacific, 8 a.m. Pacific, um, 9 o'clock in Alberta. And we're just going to talk Tai Chi for an hour. Just some of the things you're noticing, ways I can help you, anything else we want to talk about, uh, something that you'd like to see. And it helps with feedback, but it also helps with connection and building community in Tai Chi. And I had a call today from one of my Tai Chi buddies from Port Hawkesbury, whom I haven't talked to in a long time. And uh, uh, it was just so beautiful to have a conversation. And I get to talk to you, and it's like, you hear me, but I don't get the reciprocation back. So I'm looking forward to having that conversation. So that's Wednesday. I will set the event up. And again, just let me know. Uh, send me an email, post it on this one, and then I'll know to include you and I'll be happy to have you in our conversation. So I've got the Easter eggs sitting in, um, is sitting in some natural dye. Uh, I've got green tea and raspberries trying to decorate my eggs today. So I hope everybody has a great Easter. I will see you tomorrow at five um, Atlantic time. So it'll be one o'clock Pacific. And um, I hope you all have a great celebration and I look forward to whatever our topic is for tomorrow. Okay, happy Easter everyone so much. Thank you for being here. It's great. And I see we've got people answering for Wednesday. I love it. Let's get that conversation started and let's build community. Take care.